Hello, welcome to episode 78. We are looking at a property from Beth in Minnesota, and it is a cabin that she partially owns with her family. So we thought this was a good example of what do you do when you don't completely own the property and you need to figure out how to work with decor, whether it's inherited pieces, which in this case they are, Okay, so this is Beth's lake house. It's a, kind of amazing. It's right on a lake in Minnesota. And she was telling us that she owns this with other family members. They inherited it. And what they're trying to do is buy out one of the family members. So through that, Air, so right. through doing a short term rental, she's actually acquiring the ability to buy out her family member. Right. So we have to keep that in mind when looking at this property, because there are a lot of things that if you're completely going to do a gut renovation, totally, you're like, okay, do this, do this, do this, get all new furniture, all new everything. <laughs> and that's hard when you're in a situation where uh, someone else owns it, someone else might have a say, it's not just you and your partner, things like that. So uh, we have to keep that in mind when looking at this property. It's a very cool property. It's in an amazing location. So, so first I want to say uh, Airbnb actually redesigned themselves on the desktop in the last like week. So everything looks a little bit different. Um, what I like about her listing is that this first set of photos looks Good. There are two photos of the kitchen, but you kind of get the overall, like there's the outside, there's a bedroom, there's the kitchen, there's the dining room. So maybe if she switched out one of the photos for like a living room, like the close up of the oven, maybe switch that one out for this like gallery, you know, layout. So let's go through these photos. I love this picture. I feel like it shows an overall view of what you're getting, not only when you walk through the front door, but clearly this property is right on the water. And that is like a huge, huge win. So I think this is a great first photo. I agree. Uh, it's great that you're on the lake. That's a huge selling point. Okay, second photo is of the dining room. Um, I think that's okay to have the second one, especially for that gallery set up. Um, she said that they just got brand new floors in the dining room kitchen area. And you can see that, that those look like new floors. Um, what sticks out to me right away that is a quick fix would be the curtains. Uh, those vertical curtains are super like 70s, 80s. I think you could get away with uh, fabric just to soften that up. Like that looks like a 1980s office building to me, like right away, even though you're in kind of the woods and the, you know, you're in nature, but that just looks like, that's what I see. That's the first thing I see. The other thing I really like about this area is there's a shelf up there with all these like handmade um, pieces of like art pottery, which I think is really cool. Um, the only thing, about this though is the wall looks really blank because there's a really small piece of artwork there. So I think what would be cool is if you had either a few more matching pieces of artwork there, maybe four pieces, or a really large like mirror or something. Just something to give that wall a little more like presence. <laughs> like right now it just looks like a blank wall. And I would put a rug underneath the table. Because the room itself has so much wood, um, we always joke that, you know, cabins like this are like death by naughty pine. <laughs> yes. And so I don't feel that way about this space, but if you were to put a rug in here, I wouldn't do a pattern. I would do something that was like a cream or off-white kind of something that's like chunky or hand, hand tied, something like that. Just to warm it up a little bit. Um or not even warm it up, cool it down, because there's a lot of wood there. Okay, the kitchen. 1980s oak cabinets are, those are tough. Cabinets are expensive. Yes. Um, 
it's hard to replace cabinets. It's expensive to replace them, expensive to buy them. I think you could paint them. That would be my first thought. Keep everything. I mean, your appliances look pretty new. They're white, they're clean. Um, Painting cabinets, you can pay someone to do that and that would transform that kitchen. Yeah, paint the cabinets and change the hardware. Right. I do see that you label all the cabinets, so big thumbs up for that because if someone's coming into your house and they're like, where are the mugs? And they like open every single cabinet every single time, (laughs) which I do even in houses I've been to like a million times. Um, This is why I don't have cabinets in my own house. I think that's great. But I think changing out the hardware and painting those can transform that kitchen. So another photo of the kitchen, I think this could maybe be put later, but I think it's good that you show you have a kettle and a coffee maker and a toaster and paper towels and salt and pepper. Like those are good things to show. You have things that people can um, use for actual cooking. And I like that you used your title to say that you don't have a dishwasher. I think using titles to give information is always helpful. That's really good. That's really good info. And I see all your labels. That's, that's great. Okay, we see a bedroom. This is an upstairs bedroom. I actually really kind of like this bedroom. It's clean. I like, I feel like the bedspread looks nice and new and it's got a like pine sliding door and looks like there's a hand stitch quilt on the wall. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot you could do in here, but I'm right away. I'm not like shocked by it. I feel like it's kind of a standard bedroom. You probably could maybe use another um, table by the bed on both, have a little table on both sides, maybe change the lampshade out to have like a little bit more of a modern cut. My idea for this room, and it's nothing drastic, is to move the headboard of the bed to where the quilt is. I actually want the orientation of the bed to be over there. And so therefore there's like a little credenza that could, that's already there that could serve as a bedside table. And then you have a bedside table. And then there's just room to like, I mean, this room is pretty versatile, but I just feel like where that quilt is, you could still keep the quilt there, but maybe fold it a little more or just have a piece of artwork there. Cause I feel like that's a better orientation for this room. But either way, it just, it feels pretty clean and, and fine to me. Okay, so that, so I would love to see the other part of the bedroom instead mm-hmm. of, uh, I'm assuming this is a downstairs like living room hangout area. Um, I'm assuming that there used to be a wood stove there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it feels like a really weird spot for a TV. Um, it, it to- I mean, I think there's like, it looks like wood stove stuff around there. So I feel like there used to be something there, but it's gone now. I, I agree. I'm sure there was a wood stove there. I think because that part of the room is so weighted, you know, like there's a, there's, there's like a thing happening right there, right? It used to be a wood stove and now it's a television. I would say if you, if you could find a sideboard that was smaller and put that up on that little platform and sort of like raise the TV up and have a piece of furniture that has more weight to it, that's like more anchored. Cause right now the coffee table, although it looks like a really nice coffee table, like I'm I'm down with that piece of furniture, it feels too sort of flimsy for how weighted that piece of the room is. So I feel like if there was something that was a little bit more substantial holding the TV, it might feel like it fits in there. Right. I mean, and look, it's tough seeing, we're about to see a lot of wood paneling, dark wood paneling. And I always say, paint that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, On this room, you might not paint this wall right here, but you might, you know, because this could be kind of an accent wall, sort of like you're in the woods, you're in a cabin, like it's got that feel, but the sidewalls, like those could be white easily. Um, I'm just gonna say that right now. I th- I want all of them painted because I feel like I'm in a cave when I'm in a place with walls like that. 
also just like if I see a wall like this, I want to edit it a little bit, right? So it's like, okay, Ryan's suggesting painting, which I think is great. Um, if you were to move the TV up onto a little bit more of a substantial piece of furniture, I would take the left and right items off the wall and maybe there's just that like yoke or maybe you find a cool big piece of driftwood or something. I don't know what the lake area looks like or if there are like big cool pieces of something, you know, something that's like sort of organic and it's like one item on that wall instead of like a bunch of different pieces which feel very woodsy cabiny, but not in a good way. Okay, so this is a good order. We see the other side of this room. Um, I think the beams look cool. And actually this looks like real wood paneling. This doesn't look like the fake stuff. So it is kind of hard to say paint it, but it looks like there's a lot of light in that room as well. Um, what really kills me are, are mismatched lamps that are huge uh, and also mismatched side tables. You know, if you have a piece of furniture, like this looks like a futon bed, like I wouldn't choose a futon bed, but it's there. So get matching tables and get matching lamps. And I, I love that piece of artwork, that kind of kitsch vintage um, deer artwork. I think that's super cute. You could have a nice like throw blanket on here in a couple um, like more funky pillow covers or something like a little more hipster, like almost like deer heads on them or something, you know, like that's, that's your theme. These look like pillows for like the autumn. Um, so you can really dress this up really quickly, you know, two matching side tables, two matching lamps. And I feel like that would look really cute and it would be super simple and cheap. Wow. This is amazing. I kind, so of, I kind of love it. Yeah. I mean, but, like, but I also want to understand like, what, where is this room? Like, is this the same room that we were just in? I think this is the same room. I think we went from the TV to the couch to the backside. Living room. She says living room. Um, that wall decal is like hipster paradise right there. Like, it's amazing. But with the brown couches, it's like everything disappears. Like those couches are disappearing into the foliage. <laughs> Literally. I, I like that love seat though. I think that love seat's nice. Um, the lazy boy, whatever. I hate micro suede. I cannot deal with it. It always looks dirty to me. But if you're going to keep that, like throw like a plaid blanket on it, like a bright plaid blanket that would look so cute. Like a couple colorful things right there. You could paint that lamp and do a different shade. Like that shade looks like it's been there since the eighties. Cause it probably was do a cooler, like, you know, shade that's like kind of modern looking and like paint the bottom. You'd be fine with that lamp. Like it would look cool. Yeah. I would say that across the board with all of your lamps, like honestly, just shade changes would change the shape and feel of the whole, whole room. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, I keep imagining like if, I mean, this is like, would have to be a Craigslist miracle, but if you could find like an amazing mid-century modern leather couch or something, like something that would just would like anchor that whole wall into coolness instead of trying to like match the like 1980s camouflage feel you know so it's almost right. like if you went in the totally other direction to sort of like play with it in a playful way I mean that wall is incredible I don't know <laughs> if it's wallpaper I don't even know it's, um, that's incredible downstairs bedroom so I would say right off the bat window treatments could be changed easily there's more wood paneling that could be painted or if you did long you know white panels for the windows maybe that kind of lightens the room up a little bit and i would say um you know maybe we do actually matching bedspreads that are nice and so then it kind of like ties the room together right um you know there's a lot of brown happening so 
I mean, the wood paneling isn't too bad, but then there's a brown carpet and then there's a brown bedspread. Um, so stuff is getting lost in here. So I agree. The curtains could be a fabric instead of like a pull down curtain thing, um, just to give it a little more texture, a little more softness. Um, that little small bed needs a bed skirt. Um, I see like a lot of mismatched side tables, which are kind of wonky, tiny, tiny little um, lamp right there. Maybe you could have two lamps on the side of the, that bigger bed just to, yeah, it's tough when you're just like, here are a bunch of beds in a room. Um, but you know, this is, this is a, a perfect room for two parents and a little kid, you know, that's, that's not a bad setup. Um, I just feel like it needs a little more cohesion, like you're saying, matching, maybe matching bedspreads or something like that. We haven't said this yet for the rest of the house, but I think the pictures need to be better quality. Um, there were a few of them in the beginning, which I thought were good quality, good lighting. It, this looks like a lower level bedroom, so it, you're having a hard time getting the lighting right. Um, I would say like a better camera, a, you know, maybe choose um, an overcast day so that the sun isn't coming directly through the window. Um, so that just like automatically, I think, could really help this. Yeah, or if there's better um, window treatments there, that would help block the light when you're taking a photo. Uh, it looks like the sun is like bursting through this window. So it's, it's making everything look extra dark in this room as well. But again, brown carpet, brown walls, brown bedspread, <laughs> like everything's brown in here. Mm -hmm. um, so that's like making it feel really dark. Um, I think it's a beautiful bed but I feel like it gets lost because the walls are brown. So if it's possible to paint the walls, I think that's great. Uh, what you could do is something that Ashley was saying earlier is like put a light colored um, area rug down below. Um, you have carpet, like that's the flooring, but you could do like a round cream colored or off white or light gray or something like just to just to give a little more shape to the room instead of just like bed <laughs> you know so i'm assuming this is that same room this looks like a the same bed with a different bedspread mm. oh I yeah i hadn't considered that full bed in the library uh -huh. and i can see that couch seat thing there too so this is mm -hmm. the same room mm -hmm. god that furniture is kind of amazing that is like real mission style uh, oak furniture. I don't feel like it belongs in this room. It's, yeah, it's a little cramped. I almost like feel, I mean, yeah. That, I feel like that stuff would look amazing in the living room. Yeah, up by that crazy um, decal wall with the, yeah. maybe that's where it goes. You move it up there. Yeah, like that chair and that cool couch move those in there those are beautiful so like this is like typical 70s 80s decor where someone just put like a bunch of stuff on the wall mm -hmm. um and it doesn't match and it has no theme one of them looks like an actual scientific slide ruler yeah which is kind of cool which is amazing and like makes no sense in that room mm -hmm. well i guess it's a library right so um you know you can have like or you can move those pieces around to different parts of the house but just having a more cohesive bit of artwork or if you move that furniture into the living room and you have a dresser or two dressers for people to put stuff you could have mirrors or something like that something more practical for someone who's staying in that room yep agreed so it's cool. I mean, this looks like an actual library. Like it looks like it's labeled by maybe genre or something. That's yeah, cool. it's so cool. Okay, so you're coming to the large master bedroom, but the first photo is not of the bed. So I feel like that needs to get changed out. Mm -hmm. um, I actually love those paintings. I, yes. I can't see them up close, but they look gorgeous. I love that piece of furniture. Um, I don't know if I love the little, like, is that a luggage holder? 
actually what those are made for is for from my understanding is they are to hang like a suit jacket right and to like polish your shoes <laughs> like it, it, it's this weird like 1950s i have a couple pieces of furniture like that that i've bought and sold like from auctions and on ebay where it's like this weird old fashioned piece of furniture that that you're like do people use this anymore i mean i guess it could be a luggage rack but it feels like very old fashioned i think what it does to me is there's like these elegant paintings there's this elegant piece of furniture and then it feels like there's like a cheaper 1960s like grandma piece of furniture that feels a little bit like retirement home and i added it just feels like it brings down that wall right and if you want to use it as a practical um like luggage holder you could put it in the closet it looks like there's a big closet right there so just let people put their luggage in there maybe okay so this one should go before for sure mm -hmm. yep i like this bed and i like the bedspread the wallpaper no but like you could paint that wall easily i you think can. that piece of art too should just go right above the bed with yep. a couple other pieces on either side of it something that like ties like there's the blue on the wall, the blue on the bedspread, the blue on the painting or whatever that is. I I like I think that actually kind of works if it if there was like a little bit more symmetry to it. Right. Just move the table on the left over so that someone can use it more. Like it's too far away. But it's there, so you just got to scoot it over, I think. Okay, so here's what's funny. I think we're still going to see pictures inside the house, but we've gone outside. I mean, this is amazing. They have a dock and they have kayaks. That's incredible. Like maybe this is right up in the beginning. Maybe this replaces the photo of the close up of the oven. Totally. You have some outdoor and indoor photos and then you jump into it. I mean, Airbnb is weird like that. It's like you can't just go in order. But this might be good right up front, I think. Mm -hmm. So upstairs, three-fourths bath. Okay, so there's no shower. It's just a bath. Um, I mean, I like that little crate that has stuff in it. I, the curtain sh should be changed. To me, that screams like 1982. Mm -hmm. um, the but linen, it, All the linens. Yeah. Um, you could easily paint that. Um, sink cabinet and it would look totally contemporary okay that's funny so we're inside we're outside again um this is great you have a grill that's a really nice looking grill yeah it's clean yeah totally it's got like four burners okay downstairs shower with rain head bathrooms are hard to take photos of they are they really are <laughs> i think people struggle the most with them I struggle with them too. So this is tough because you're like, here's a shower. Um, I don't, I don't think she shows us the rest of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're outside again. Gorgeous. I mean, look at this place. Uh, that's gorgeous. I, you know, often we say like, whatever, don't do sunset pictures, but I think you should. Pretty good one. Picture. It's gorgeous. <laughs> that's a good one. Okay. So I do want to point this out. We're on photo 19 of 55 photos. So we're obviously not going to get through all of them, but I think a lot of them are photos of her area. Like this is a cool place and that's fine. I, I don't necessarily think that's necessary for everybody. I, I think that people, if they're looking in your area, they kind of know why they're looking. So you don't have to tell them what's nearby, but that's up to you. Okay. So this is, this should go back to the, this is, this is, the downstairs um, shower, shower, uh -huh. bathroom. Yep. That should be together with the other one. Yeah. And again, you can, you know, it's tough to redo tile and everything, but you can, if you painted this um, bathroom cabinet and put in a new faucet, I mean, that would not look like the 80s. It would look like you just got it. Yeah. I kind of like the tile situation, actually. I like the tile too. It's kind of like cute. Yeah. And it got, has like interesting grout lines. Yeah, so you know, you can kind of like clean up and update things like this. So it doesn't feel like it is like 
the early 80s, you know, mm -hmm. because it's not even just that it's like 80s style. It's like, this has been here since the 80s. It's been used since the 80s. So, you yeah. know, that's coming up on 40 years. Right. So it starts to just feel worn. So just give it, you know, you could give it a little cleanup. Okay, this says we have a split entry home. So I guess there's two entrances. That's what she's saying. Yeah, so I would say instead, I would say this is one of two entrances or something, because I, I wouldn't know what that means. Yeah, me too. That um, automatically, I think, are, is someone else living in this house? That's a, that's a good point. Yeah, this could be the upper entrance or something like that. I think it's good to show that you have a fire pit. People always ask us if we have a fire pit, and we do, so we make sure we have photos of it. So I think that's yep, great. I like that. Oh, wow. You guys have so much stuff. Okay. Two canoes. Now, so this is, this is cool. You're showing the yard, but I'm going to go really fast through some of these just so people can see what's here. Okay. More outside. That's fine. But okay. So, so here we're like, there's, this is close by, this is close by, this is, this is outside. This is exactly where we are. Okay. I like that. That's cool that you're like, we're right on this lake. So there, there are lots of outdoor photos, which is okay, but th then we go back inside. So I feel like, is anyone, is anyone going Looking to anymore. <laughs> get into the 40, 40 photos? Oh boy. Okay. This stuff, you don't need this stuff. You, yeah. None you of this is needed. You don't need this. No, nope. you can tell people in your listing that you have this. It's very important that you tell people you have, yeah, booster seats, high chairs, pack and plays. Mm -hmm. We have yeah. those at every house. Like maybe there's a little description of like, here are all the amenities for children, but you don't have to show them in pictures. See, it's funny. There's like all these, there's oh, all there these it is. indoor photos, like super hidden. 48, number 48. So this was the... <laughs> This oh my god, look at that stuff. barrel chair. I love that. I know that chair. The one on the left. Oh, that should be in the living room. Yeah. That, that should be in the living room. room with that mission couch and that rocking chair. But we needed this before and this is a really poor quality photo too, so you want to maybe get a brighter day or uh, something. Mm -hmm. This looks like it's at sunset. Yeah, there's a lot of photos here. It's too many. Oh, I mean, that's an interesting photo if it was taken better. So look, th look, there used to be a quilt behind the TV. I wonder if they changed that. Because that looks neat. Like, yeah, that I looks like that. clean and neat. So I wonder if that yeah. happened later and they retook a photo and just added it. Mm -hmm. um, but again, too many pictures. 55 photos is, you don't need that many photos. Um, yeah, so Airbnb kind of redid their thing. This is kind of cool, though. Uh, they didn't have this before. Yeah, it definitely looks different. So I would say overall, I mean, you're a super host. You have great reviews. You're in a great location. You know, there's a lot to offer on this property. Um, and basically take better photos with better lighting, you know, over time, you're going to work on these different elements and these different details, but you have really good bones that you're working with. And obviously people really enjoy staying at your place. So keep up the good work. We love what you're doing and uh, keep us updated. Okay. That's it for this episode. Thanks to Beth for sending us her listing. If you want to send us your listing, you can email us, shampooandbooze at gmail.com. You can leave a comment on YouTube. We're at youtube.com slash shampooandbooze. And we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear what you think of people's places that we've been looking at. Pretty soon, we're going to look at one of my places. So da, da, everyone da, da. <laughs> can be super critical of my photos and of my furniture. And that's fine. Um, I think we can all get good ideas from each other and be changing all the time. So I think it's fine. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.